Africa is the continent to watch out for, according to precious metals experts. Additionally, the current economic landscape, emerging market opportunities, and Dubai's significant role in facilitating trade for multi-commodities and precious metals, particularly gold, were among the highlights of the second annual Dubai Precious Metals Conference today. At the event, His Excellency Saeed Al Shamsi, the Assistant Foreign Minister for International Organizations, further stressed the importance of Dubai as well as the UAE in trading between East and West. Ahmed bin Sulaym, the executive chairman of the DMCC, said over 20% of the world's physical gold flows through Dubai at present, and they have seen tremendous growth in all aspects. Through this platform, he says, more than 340 global players from over 20 countries will gain better understanding of present as well as up-and-coming trends worldwide. Among them is the potential rise of Africa as both a producer and consumer. Yesterday on the Financial Times, there's a statement from Mugabe and Zimbabwe that uh, Dubai saved Zimbabwe as far as their minerals and all that. And that is, uh, that's, I can't even say that's a compliment. That is a miracle. If somebody said that would happen uh, in the future, we'd all be laughing. But it did happen and we're moving on and we'll take full advantage. And that is, that is part of a track record. You can, I can get 20 awards, but that statement just says it all, speaks volumes. Uh, the, uh, uh, the question of, uh, of it uh, developing is really depending on them. Before the global recession, I actually personally felt more challenges. Right after the recession, things were much simpler for me and DMCC to attract businesses and, and doing business in Dubai because there's so much property and, and, and fair prices and better choices and all that and JLT is complete. It was our best years, 2007, 700 and something companies, 2011, double, and 2012, 2033 companies. 94% of which are new to the United Arab Emirates. This brings the uh, value addition to the GDP of the UAE just for 2012, and this is conservatively speaking around $10 billion. At present, China remains the largest producer and consumer of gold, while the countries such as the US and India are among the major consumers. Event organizers say they aim to encourage more business by promoting best practices, which will ensure trading with confidence. In the past decade, the DMCC has developed a solid financial and physical infrastructure that has contributed to growth in the sector. Dubai's uh, uh, trade in bullion in 2011 was about 39, uh, 56 billion dollars, I beg your pardon. 2012 was 70 billion dollars. So you can see that Dubai's physical gold trade is growing exponentially. A uh, large part of Dubai's customer base is India, China, the GCC and further beyond. So really, that's what makes this conference so important because you have participants from 340 countries who want to understand the you know, why of the Dubai market and what they can do over here and how they can participate in this market.